This is the moment you've waited for. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, your host for tonight's show, Mr. John Limber. Greatest way to come onto a stage or what? <laughs> well, once again, folks, hello for all of us joining us here. Again, my name is John Limber, and I hope all of you here tonight enjoyed your wonderful dinner. Was it delicious? What I also noticed during dinner is that everybody was kind of singing and dancing. I saw somebody kind of jimmying at their table. That was really cool. So. It's going to be a great night all around. And for all of you joining us at home on the live stream, hello. So, of course, we have to formally welcome you all tonight to the 2023 JROTC National Air Rifle Championship Awards presentation. <laughs> we are going to begin this evening with our guest speaker. Major General Antonio Manera. Yes, yes, yes. He has accumulated a successful military career that has spanned over 30 years. A native of Fairfax, Virginia, he holds a Bachelor of Science in History and Master's Degrees in Theater Operations and Strategic Studies as a distinguished military graduate from Shippensburg University in Pennsylvania. After receiving a regular Army commission in May of 1991, he went on to serve a variety of command and staff positions, including platoon leader, company commander in the United States Army Technical Escort Unit, and becoming the 30th Chief of Chemical and Commandment of the U.S. Army Chemical, Biological, radiological, and nuclear school. Try saying that five times fast right now. Go. I dare you. See, you can't do it. <laughs> he was also the deputy commanding general for the United States Army Cadet Command from May of 2019 to May of 2020. He has been part of deployments such as the Operation Joint Guardian in Kosovo, Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Inherent Resolve, where he advised the Iraqi government on security sector reform. On September 20th, 2022, he joined the U.S. Army Cadet Command at Fort Knox, Kentucky. As the commanding general, he will further Cadet Command's mission to select, educate, train, and commission college students to be officers, as well as to form partnerships with high schools conducting JROTC programs. Through his many years of excellence and experiences, he is poised to lead the next generation of U.S. military men and women to their own successful careers. So ladies and gentlemen, help me in welcoming 
our very, very distinguished guest speaker tonight, Major General Antonio Manera. John, thank you for that kind introduction. I don't want that bio. I want the walk-up music. Can I get walk-up music? You got something there? Like Enter Sandman or you something? You know what's nice is I can, uh, sometimes I can just point and like stuff can just happen. All right, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome our guest speaker this evening. Put your hands together for Major General Antonio Manera. How was that? That, that was much better, thank you. All right, hey, so I'm going to start completely off script for a general officer. That, that's really bad, which means things could go very long. Uh, but we've got great cadets here. Uh, and so I know we have cadets here from every service, right? Right? Every service? All right, so let's do a little service rivalry up front. How can we do that? I, I won't have you sing songs because that'll take too long. But where are my Navy cadets? All right. Pretty good, pretty good. How about the Marine Corps? All right, I don't know about that. I don't know. Okay. What about the Air Force? All right. All right. I saved somebody for last so you could gauge your competition. Where are the Army cadets? All right, thanks. We'll tell you, it, it, it is great being here. Uh, just, just let me tell you, Sergeant Major and I had a great time today uh, watching the competition, and it just shows you the power of junior ROTC. And the power of junior ROTC when it's combined with the, the marksmanship program, the civilian marksmanship program, uh, and the great cadets here who already show you the great things that they can do uh, on the, uh, the mark with marksmanship and on the range. Uh, but as I talk to them, and talk to all of you, uh, the academic prowess that you already have, the aspirations that you already have. I mean, when I talk to you about the things that you want to do in the future, I mean, you were talking to me about double majors and doing marksmanship and all these great things. Absolutely uh, incredible. And when you combine that all together, the cadets in this room, so I'm going to tell you right now, Thank you. Thank you for deciding to lead. So at a very young age, you have already decided, you know, whether it's through the military or whatever else that you are going to do, uh, that it's not about you. It is about serving others. And the millions of hours that you already provide to your community tells me that our nation is in great hands because of the great cadets that are in the room here right now. So let's give the cadets a round of applause. All right, so again, thank you for inviting me tonight. And again, I don't know why you selected me to come here to speak to you tonight. Um, sitting at my table alone, there are experts in marksmanship, and I've got you know Olympic coaches and Olympic shooters right here at my table. So I'm, I'm a little intimidated by the folks at my table, but thank you for allowing me to come and talk to you. I love shooting, but I gotta admit, I'm really rusty. So cadets, you would have to take me out there and practice, but you'd have to give me you know, those big, huge 600-meter targets and, and put them like at 10 meters, and then I think I would be good to go. But joke, all joking aside, th thanks uh, for letting me come out here today and watching the Junior National Cadets uh, compete today. I am so proud. I know your parents are so proud of everything that you have done. I also know that I am what's standing between you and awards, uh, and for me, I'm going to the water park next. So. Um, I, so I, I, I will be brief. So thank you again to the Civilian Marksmanship Program for the opportunity to be here today. A huge thanks to the cadre, instructors, staff, the Army Marksmanship Unit, and the families that are here today. Thank you for taking the time to inspire and motivate these cadets to be all they can be while teaching them the skills they need to become better citizens of character. So cadets, Give all of them a round of applause. So
So as I talked earlier, you know, competitions like the National Air and Rifle Championship demonstrate the power of Junior ROTC. The power of Junior ROTC, a one-of-a-kind program that develops young leaders of character, instills purpose and passion, teaches the values of discipline, hard work, and teamwork. It provides a sense of community and instills the value of service to others. Cadets, the knowledge, skills, and behaviors acquired through Junior ROTC will unlock endless possibilities for you. And as we like to say in the Army, hopefully you've seen the new commercials, it allows cadets to be all they can be. So I, like to, I would like to see, and we were talking about this at the front table, I would like to see every school around the country have an ROTC program teamed with organizations like the Civilian Marksmanship Program. It is that powerful in what it does in developing our future leaders. So a little bit about the history. Um, I think you all know this, but this is a rich history behind this event. Since 2003, the Junior ROTC National Army Rifle Championship has been bringing together 6,000 cadets from the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, and Air Force every year. The Civilian Marksmanship Program hosts this event in conjunction with our military, and it's one of the largest and most anticipated shooting events in the United States. It's just not, the spe it's just not this specific competition that has such a storied history, but the sport of air rifle marksmanship is one of the oldest and most popular Olympic sports. First included in modern Olympics games in 1896, as you know, the annual NCAA Rifle Championship takes place every March to end the season for 42 colleges and universities with their rifle teams. So competitive shooting as a sport, as you've seen here today, transcends gender, age, and is truly inclusive. And for you cadets, it took a great amount of skill, talent, dedication to reach this multi-day competition there were thousands of teams and individual participants. I can speak from the Army. That's about 1,100 junior ROT ski schools that have marksmanship programs. Uh, many of those participants compete until we get down to the best of the best, which are you here tonight, and 46 teams and 54 individuals showcasing the highest marksmanship talent in the nation. And over these past three days, following multiple rounds of competition and elimination, we've gathered tonight to award and recognize not only the winners, but the hard work and dedication of everyone in this room. The skills you've learned along with the commitment and effort were evident throughout the championship. Involvement in Air Rifle Marksmanship Program is about more than becoming an excellent marksman. Marksmanship teaches personal responsibility, self-discipline, self-reliance, and respect. Learning to be a safe shooter teaches personal responsibility. Training to hit difficult targets teaches self-discipline. Learning to hold a pellet rifle steady and hit a target teaches self-reliance and enhances self-esteem. You know, in junior ROTC, we emphasize character development, academic achievement, wellness, leadership, and diversity. Our program teaches citizenship and leadership while instilling self-esteem, teamwork, and self-discipline in each cadet. All of these are skills you also learn every day through your marksmanship program. The teamwork and life skills you've been given the opportunity to learn through junior ROTC and programs like the Civilian Marksmanship Program has the power to make your future even brighter than you thought it could be and opens doors to limitless possibilities. Each of you are successful because of the motivation, the practice, and hard work. So over the years, I've learned to, that one of my sayings is, I probably stole it from somebody else, uh, pursue excellence and don't accept the status quo. You have proven today, cadets, that you are not satisfied with being average, but instead are committed to reaching your goals 
and bounding on to bigger and better things. And I believe competitions like this absolutely breed excellence. And we should always play to win. As you go through your career and your future, life will continue to throw you challenges. What defines you is how you overcome those obstacles and find opportunities in adversity. I bet only a small handful of you were sharpshooters when you started. Most of you probably couldn't hit the, inside, the side of a barn from inside of it. Bad joke, but you guys probably did better than that. But where you initially failed, uh, you learned from your shortcomings, you persevered, you practiced, and you practiced, and you practiced, and you encouraged each other until you reached your current goals, which I am sure is not your ultimate goal as you continue to pursue excellence. So as you strive to continue to achieve excellence, remember what you do every day defines you. From the peers you surround yourself with to how you conduct yourself every day in your everyday routine. Through the junior ROTC program, you're learning that you can do more than you ever knew you could. Knuckling down in the face of obstacles, showing integrity on and off the range, and taking personal responsibility in everything you do. And this will reveal who you are as a person and will shape the future that you are dreaming of. So regardless of the path you choose, you are starting strong through Junior ROTC, and you do have limitless possibilities. Remember, stay balanced, have fun. It looked like you are having an absolute blast out there this weekend and tonight. Continue to find fun and joy in all things that you do. I wish you the best on your journeys. Congratulations again on an impressive performance at this weekend's competition. And thank you for having me here tonight. And as I conclude, I challenge you to continue to strive for excellence don't be average and continue to be all you can be. Thank you. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Let's hear it for Major General Antonio Manero. We will begin this evening with the presentation of our Junior Distinguished Badges. Yes, every, everybody can ooh at that kind of stuff. That's completely okay. Yeah, one, two, three. I have so much power, I love it. The Junior Distinguished Badge is awarded for consistent excellence in major three position air rifle competitions over an extended period of time. The highest ranking competitors in the state and national level, uh, national level competitions can earn a maximum of five points in one competition and must earn 30 points to earn the badge. The top 50% of the non-distinguished competitors in this championship earned between three and five points each. The first Junior Distinguished Badge was awarded in 2001. Since then, 1,687 junior shooters have earned this prestigious badge. Presenting the badges this evening will be Sergeant First Class George Norton of the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit. On behalf of the National Three Position Air Rifle Council, we are pleased to formally present distinguished badges to the following new junior distinguished shooters. First up, Abril DeCastro. 
Patexent High School, Maryland, Navy, JROTC. Keys, Vandergriff, Nation Ford High School, South Carolina, Marine Corps, JROTC. Jennifer Zermano, Nation Ford High School, South Carolina, Marine Corps, JROTC. Daniela De Jesus, Camden County High School, Georgia, Navy, JROTC. Madeline Vetting, Patuxent High School. Maryland Navy JROTC. Abigail Swain, Camden County High School, Georgia, Navy, Junior, ROTC. Jake Moody, Daniel Boone High School, Tennessee, Marine Corps, Junior, ROTC. Isaac Ortiz, La Gueva High School, New Mexico, Marine Corps, JROTC.
Theodore Serrano, East Coweta High School, Georgia, Marine Corps J Junior ROTC. Rory Clausen, El Dorado High School, New Mexico, Marine Corps, Junior ROTC. Haley Garcia, El Dorado High School, New Mexico, Marine Corps, Junior ROTC. And Tara Perecci, Patuxent High School, Maryland, Navy, Junior ROTC. Jose Gonzalez, North Brunswick High School, North Carolina, Army Junior ROTC. Jasmine Lopez, North Brunswick High School, North Carolina, Army Junior ROTC. Liv Lusky, Lumpkin County High School, Georgia, Army Junior ROTC. Asa Wells, Ozark High School, Missouri, Army, Junior ROTC. Chloe Shannon, Union High School, Oklahoma, 
Air Force Junior ROTC. Courtney Allison, Fountain Fort Carson High School, Colorado, Army, JROTC. Lachlan Harris, Nation Ford High School, South Carolina, Marine Corps, Junior ROTC. Brianna Benedetto, Zion Benton High School, Illinois Navy Junior ROTC. Julia Cernick, Granbury High School, Texas, Marine Corps, Junior ROTC. And ladies and gentlemen, there were six individuals who earned their distinguished badge in today's competition. So as I call your names, please come forward. Starting with Olivia Griffiths, Lebanon High School, Oregon, Army, JROTC. Rhett Daniel, Ozark High School, Missouri Army, JROTC. Caitlin Hawk, North Pole High School, Alaska Air Force, 
Junior ROTC. Zaya Wright, Des Moines Central High School, Iowa, Marine Corps, Junior ROTC. Gabrielle Ayers, Sarasota Military Academy, Florida, Army Junior ROTC. Cameron Wells, Granbury High School, Texas, Marine Corps, Junior ROTC. And at this time, would all of our distinguished badge recipients please stand and be recognized and join us as we congratulate not only our current, but our newest junior distinguished marksmen. Congratulations, Marksman. You may go ahead and take your seats. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present this year's Junior ROTC National Championship Individual Awards. We will begin with the Sporter Class Awards, and I would like to re-invite Mr. Jerry O'Keefe up here to the stage with me to help us present these awards. We will be awarding the first three places and then pause for pictures, and then we will call up the remaining award winners. Our third place sporter class winner, bronze medalist, representing Pascagoula High School Navy Junior ROTC from Mississippi is Samuel Nason.
Samuel is also going to be receiving a check from CMP for $400. Congratulations, Samuel. Our second place sporter class winner, silver medalist, representing Patexnet High School Navy Junior ROTC from Maryland is Christopher Mardonis. Christopher will also be receiving a check from CMP for $500. Congratulations, Christopher. And ladies and gentlemen, our 2023 National Junior ROTC Championship Sporter Class winner, gold medalist, representing Nation Ford High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC from South Carolina. Put our hands together, everybody, for Samantha Zermano. Samantha will also receive a check from CMP for $600 and a new Crossman Challenger donated by Crossman and presented tonight by Tom Beecher. While our top three shooters remain on the award stand, and I, I'm not quite sure. Samantha, are you going to be able to hold that the entire time we do this? Okay, but I'm going to put you to the test here. We're going to now welcome up our fourth through ten place finishers. In fourth place, representing Pesco, forgive me, Pescagoula High School Navy Junior ROTC from Mississippi is Diego Ramos. In fifth place, representing North Brunswick High School, Army JROTC from North Carolina, Jose Gonzalez.
In sixth place, representing Nation Ford High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC from South Carolina, Keys Vandergriff. In seventh place, representing Clover High School Air Force Junior ROTC from South Carolina, Charles Bratton II. In eighth place, representing Zion Benton High School, JROTC from Illinois, Kaylin White. In ninth place, representing Mariner High School Army JROTC from Florida, Nathan Crookstrom. And in 10th place, representing Spanish Springs High School Army JROTC from Nevada, Benjamin Boybian. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's hear it for our top 10 finishers. Award winners, I'd like to thank you. And Mr. O'Keefe, thank you as well. You guys may go ahead and take your seats. The C is for the courage I possess through the drama. H is for the hurt, but it's all for the honor. A is for my attitude, working through the patience. Money comes and goes, so the M is for motivation. motivation. Gotta stay consistent, the P is to persevere. The I is for integrity, innovative career. The O is optimistic, open and never shut. And the N is necessary, cause I'm never giving up. See, they ask me all right, folks, we're gonna keep it moving along here. And we are now going to present awards for the individual precision class. Presenting these awards, I would like to re-invite up Major General Antonio Minera. <laughs> Major General, I hit that inflection. I was hoping you were gonna get your wish and like have some Metallica again, but. The, the music gods were not on my side, but that's okay. That's all right. All right. Starting with third place in the precision class winner, bronze medalist, representing Lumpkin County High School Army Junior ROTC from Georgia, is Liv Lusky.
Liv will also be receiving a check from CMP for $400. The second place precision class winner, silver medalist, representing Granbury High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC from Texas, Ashton Arlington. Ashton will also be receiving a check from CMP for $500. And now, the 2023 National Junior ROTC Championship Precision Class winner, gold medalist, representing Camden County High School Junior ROTC from Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Daniela De Jesus. She takes a bite out of that gold medal. It'll be time to tell you that Daniela will also be receiving a check from CMP for $600. While our top three shooters remain on the award stand, we're gonna welcome our fourth through 10th place finishers. Starting with fourth place, representing Granbury High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC from Texas is Caroline Martin. In fifth place, representing Devil's Lake High School Army, JRTC, from North Dakota, Casia Steinhaus. In sixth place, representing Granbury High School Marine Corps JROTC from Texas is Sonny Schumann. In seventh place, Representing Sarasota Military Academy, Army JROTC from Florida. Put your hands together for Gabrielle Ayers.
And in eighth place, representing East Coweta High School Marine Corps JROTC from Georgia, Theodore Serrano. And in ninth place, representing Robertsdale High School Navy Junior ROTC from Alabama, Haley Wheelis. And in 10th place, representing Union High School Air Force JROTC from Oklahoma, put your hands together for Chloe Shannon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for our award winners this evening. Thank you, award winners, and thank you once again, Major General Manera. You may all go ahead and take your seats. We are going to move on to the national team competition. We're, we are going to present our awards for the top five teams in both sporter and precision classes. The first through fifth place teams will receive a trophy for the unit, medals for each team member, as well as a cash prize from CMP. Teams will be called up onto the stage in inverse order. Once we get you all called up here, all five teams, we're gonna ask that you please remain on the award stand for pictures as we begin with our sporter class. I'm gonna ask to re-invite up here Mr. Gary Anderson. He's gonna help us present the overall sporter team championship awards. And of course, I just realized, I believe I said I was gonna re-invite him. Sir, this is your first time up here, is that correct? Did I make that mistake? <laughs> My apologies. We're gonna start with our fifth place sporter class team. It's North Brunswick High School Army JROTC from North Carolina. Our team members, Jose Gonzalez, Jasmine Lopez, Tiffany Martinez, and Hannah Gore. Along with their team coach, First Sergeant George Williams.
the fifth place team is going to also receive a $500 check from CMP. The fourth place Sporter Class team is Patexnet High School, Navy JROTC from Maryland. Our team members, Christopher Mardonis, Madeline Vetting, Rossi Harmon, and Antara Parecki. And we would also like to congratulate the team coach, First Sergeant Jeffrey Treber. So the fourth place team is going to be receiving a $750 check from CMP. The third place Sporter Class team is Pascoglia High School, Navy JROTC from Mississippi. Our team members are Diego Ramos, Samuel Nason, Helena Jones, and also Dianara Alvarado Lopez. We would also like to congratulate the team coach, Commander Master Chief Gregory Gooley. And of course, the third place team is receiving a $1,000 check from CMP. Our second place Sporter Class team is Zion Benton High School, Navy JROTC from Illinois. The second place team is comprised of Kaitlyn White, Brianna Benedetto. I had to wait for the yes. That was completely okay. It was a perfect launch for that. <laughs> Along with Braden Rich and Gianna Gomez. Our second place team coach, we would like to honor Master Chief Dan Haxtain.
The second place team is also receiving a check for $1,500 from the CMP. And now to welcome the winning team, the 2023 National Junior ROTC Sporter Class Champion Team, Nation Ford High School Marine Corps JROTC from South Carolina. The first place team is comprised of Samantha Zermano, Keys Vandergriff, Abriel De Castro, and Lachlan Harris. The team coach, Colonel Sean Mulcahy. The CMP is excited to award the first place team with a check for $2,000 for its success, as well as a Crossman Challenger donated by Crossman and presented once again by Tom Beecher. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's hear it for our top five teams. Award winners, thank you and congratulations. And also Mr. Anderson, thank you as well. You may all go ahead and take your seats. Next, everyone, we are going to be presenting the winning Precision Class Team Awards. And presenting these, I'm going to request the assistance of Mr. Dan Durbin and Mr. Will Dantzler to the stage. The fifth place Precision Class Team is Upson Lee High School, Navy JROTC from Georgia. We're going to congratulate our team winners William Lane, Kinsley Riggins, Bailey Lifesey, and Kinsey Mayer.
Our fifth place team is coached by Petty Officer Chuck Meyerdix. And of course, our fifth place team will be receiving a $500 check from CMP. In fourth place in the Precision Class team is Granbury High School Marine Corps JROTC Team 2 from Texas. Our fourth place team is made up of Kennedy Wells, Cadence McGrath, Julia Cernick, and Viola Allen. We would also like to congratulate our, four play, our fourth place team coach, Lieutenant Colonel Scott Casey. Our fourth place team will also be receiving a check for $750 from CMP. And now for our third place precision class team, Camden County High School, Navy JROTC from Georgia. Our third place team is made up of Daniela De Jesus, Virginia Bird, Abigail Swain, and Mason Kruger. Our third place team coach, Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Banta. And of course, our friends at CMP are gonna be rewarding our third place team with a check for $1,000. Now it's time for our second place precision team East Coweta High School, Marine Corps Junior ROTC from Georgia. Our second place team is made up of Theodore Serrano, Wyatt Hicks, Leonardo Garcia Polo, and of course, Destiny Nazario. And our second place team is coached by Major Peter Merrill.
And for our second place team, they will also be receiving a check for $1,500 from our friends at CMP. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winning team for the 2023 National JROTC Precision Class Champion Team, Granbury High School Marine Corps JROTC Team One from Texas. Believe in champions. I got nothing but dreams inside. I got nothing but dreams. I'm just young enough to still believe, still believe. But young enough not to know what to believe. Our first place team is made up of Ashton Arlington, Sonny Schumann, Caroline Martin, and Cameron Wells. And our first place team is coached by Lieutenant Colonel Scott Casey. And to our first place team, they will also be receiving a $2,000 check from CMP. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another big round of applause for our top five team finishers. Congratulations to our award winners, and also thank you once again to Mr. Dantzler and Mr. Durbin. You may all go ahead and take your seats. Every day on the inside The only thing I do is sit around and kill time I'm trying to blow out the pilot light I'm trying to blow out the light I'm just At this time we're going to obviously have our Granbury High School students, uh, first place team stay up here but I would also like to re-invite our Nation Ford first place team on back up to the stage In addition, if we could please have our individual winners Daniela De Jesus. And Samantha Zermano, please come on back up to the stage as well. All of our first place winners tonight. I believe I heard one of our first place finishers uh, might have stepped out of the room for just a moment. So we're going to Nation Ford has uh, Nation Ford, our winning team. Have they come back up just yet? Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> you would not believe how difficult it is to see with this super bright light right in my eyes. <laughs> but I can hear the medals clanging, so I know somebody's coming. And then we both, we've both we got both Daniela and Samantha up here as well. Have they made their way back up here? All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you your 2023 Junior ROTC National Championship team and individual winners. Inside my bones, it goes electric wavy when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally You more like the way we rock it So don't stop Under the lights when everything goes Nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close When we move, well, you already know So just imagine 
Well, cadets and coaches, congratulations to all of you who participated in this championship. You are truly outstanding representatives of your generation, your JROTC units, your schools, your JROTC programs, and of this great sport. You can always be proud of yourselves and of your teammates for accomplishing this incredible feat during such a memorable time of your lives. At this time, we would like to bring attention to our graduating seniors. Will the class of 2023 please stand to be recognized? These individuals, these individuals standing before you are undoubtedly eager to move on to whatever may come next in their lives. Each are moving in a different direction after high school. Some of you are gonna be enrolling in college where you begin your higher education, and some of you may even compete in the NCAA rifle program at your school. Some of you will be joining programs at your colleges. Others are gonna be training with one of our armed forces. And still others will be heading directly into your respective careers. Your parents, your coaches, your friends, all of us in this room here tonight are inspired by your enthusiasm to succeed and the fresh take that you're gonna have to the world. We hope that you will continue to participate in shooting sports, but most of all, we are anxious to see all of the incredible things that you will be doing from here on out. Good luck to you all and congratulations. See but you when you dance, dance, dance Feel a good, good creeping up on you So just dance, dance, dance Come on, all those things I shouldn't do But you dance, dance, dance And ain't nobody leaving soon So keep dancing Thank you very much And seniors, you may go ahead and take your seats It's like I'm a wizard I just made that happen Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, we would like to thank all the JROTC instructors, coaches, parents, chaperones, and all of those that helped make it possible for these cadets to attend this competition. Can we give them one more great big round of applause, please? Thank you to all of our range officers, volunteers, and members of the CMP staff for their work in conducting this competition. Let's hear it for them. As I know and understand it, the mission of CMP is to promote marksmanship through training, safety, and competitions with focus on youth. We cannot achieve that mission without all of you in this room tonight. So from all of us here, we want to thank you all for your support. So one more time, if we can all hear it, great big lot of applause to be able to shake the roof off of this place. Let's hear it for everybody that helped us with this competition this weekend. At this time, if we can all please stand while we close tonight's ceremony with a benediction by Cadet Katie McCall. Please bow your heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you once again for giving us the chance to gather together and have communion with one another. I thank you for each team and individual who received an award tonight, as well as those who were not recognized. I give thanks to you for giving us the skill set and opportunity to compete at such a high level with tough competi competition. I pray, Lord, as we go out from this place, that you will have your protective hand over us in our travels. I also ask you, Lord, that we will keep our eyes fixed upon you, giving you praise and glory through everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't feel the fall. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the 19th annual National Junior ROTC Air, Rif Air Rifle Championship Awards Banquet. Thank you all very much for celebrating with us. And for all, all of those you here with us tonight, have a safe journey home. And for all of you watching online, good night. You choose to stay. Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad.